It's always a pleasure to have you here again on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. Here, we track stories on social media and dissect them. I am Wali Fakile. Let's kick off with our top story. International Women's Month is celebrated in March of every year to recognize achievements of women and assess the progress made towards advancing the cause of women and girls across the globe. Uh, this year's theme focuses on using innovation and technology to promote gender equality. In this story, uh, just Nigeria Zina Bala spotlights some women who are shaping the future and changing society for the better with their work in education, uh, health, and technology. In the modern race for success, digital prowess is the key but not all have equal access, especially women. But amidst this stark reality, some women are rising up with tenacity, leading the charge to bridge the digital gap. Four Nigerian women stand out. The creator of a blood donor app, revolutionizing health with a single tap. A maternal health visionary, committed to using technology to save lives an advocate for women's economic and political empowerment, and a STEM educator, empowering children to reach new heights. The question was always for me, how do I create a community of blood donors spread across Nigeria? In the last 15 years, we've reached over 500,000 um, women and girls and young people. A lot of that the work I have done in the uh, social sector has been around that desire to equip our students here with the skills to problem solve, with the skills to become researchers, scientists, innovators. Tekha was the result of a question I wanted answered and that question was where were the women working in technology? According to the United Nations, 3.7 billion people around the world have no access to the internet. Half of them are women. In some parts of the world, the divide has been shrinking, but data shows that it is growing in Africa. The Center for Information, Technology and Development, CTED, says that in Nigeria, for instance, 60% of women are less likely to have access to the internet. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, says Nigeria's 40 million women of childbearing age suffer a disproportionately high level of health issues surrounding birth. But Choma Osakwe, who is the program lead at Haiti's Health Initiative, tells GIST Nigeria that the future of maternal health in Nigeria is very promising. When women register um, using the app, their data is collected, their medical history is there, we're able to send them messages. Like again, drawing it back to um, designing your project or designing the project to fit the current situations or realities of the people you're um, implementing these projects for. So most, most of them don't have like, you know, high feature phones, right? It's the normal, the low feature phones. So we have to sort of bring that in, you know, be able to send them SMS to remind them of their antenatal care dates, what their next appointment is, when to take their next, next dose. Dr. Adetola Salau is breaking barriers in a world where science, technology, engineering and mathematics are perceived as difficult fields. She's working to transform STEM education for Nigerian children. Back in 2018 and 2019, when we started introducing drone technology to the students. I mean, this is something that could be quite expensive, but fortunately there were a lot of cheaper alternatives. So we, had the, we partnered with this organization and they came in and they trained the students on how to assemble them, how to fly them, and the science and the physics. When I say science, that's the physics behind them. And then I had to source for cheaper alternatives than those bigger, more expensive ones so that the students could still continue to learn how to assemble and to fly them. Blood donations are critical for millions of people's health outcomes and life-saving efforts. But accessing and coordinating blood donations can be extremely difficult, especially in areas with limited resources. Angela Ochubai's J Blood Match, an innovative blood donor app, is changing the game. 
in a situation where people are requesting for blood, the information the app collects from you is of course the units of blood that you require, the hospital that you are at, um, the doctor in charge of the hospital, the health condition that is making you request for uh, the blood and also um, I guess the town as, as well and the states that you're in. So the, the app uses that information to come up with a message to which it now sends to all the registered donors within that area with the blood type asking them to come through to come and donate blood at the hospital. Through TechHa, an initiative dedicated to helping women access technological resources and tools that can help them succeed in their careers and other areas of their lives, Chama Agwebo is charting the course. A lot of times we see information and advocacy targeted at women, at young girls actually. We see, you know, we need to get girls into STEM, we need to get girls into STEM. But I read an article where Melinda Gates was talking about every year we bring more girls into STEM and every year we find that the numbers are not enough. And it said one thing to me, retention. So in creating Tekka, we focused on bringing women in in such a way that it wasn't so heavy a lift that they felt they needed to do really incredible things to stay. And as a matter of fact, our theory of change is the more we show women the simple ways in which technology can enhance their lives, can make their lives simpler, can make their lives more efficient, the more we guarantee the future for young girls in technology. The digital gender divide is a barrier hard to break as it deprives women of many opportunities. Studies show that women fall behind with limited access and skills hard to find. But despite these challenges, these four women say there is hope. That we want to see strategic, consistent and sustainable funding going into women's education first of all, going into reorientation of families so that we have more families sending their girls to school, going into infrastructure for the schools so that children go to school and they meet tables and chairs and they meet computers and they meet electricity. I'm a lawyer by profession and and now I'm in, in tech. So look through that look inwards what is that solution you're trying to create and if that solution needs tech to come on board then jump at it and just keep at it we are carrying out quite a number of interventions and one of them we actually have been carrying out for the past three years in Lagos it's called the Equo Excel where the teachers have simple smartphones and tablets and they have these lessons that are designed around it and they use that to deploy and execute these lessons for the students. I remember when I was in, um, was it, yeah, primary school, we had a computer lab, right? And it wasn't large enough. I think it would fit like a certain number of people at a time. And at the time they would say, oh, um, the guys should go first and then the ladies will take, you know, the next one. And it's like, oh, when you're waiting and like, oh, if you're not interested in that, you could join the food and nutrition class, right? So it starts from there, building, building my, um, um, the minds of women and girls, of women and girls self to, to, to be able to compete. UN Women believes that the digital age represents an unprecedented opportunity to eliminate all forms of disparity and inequality. That's why this year's theme for International Women's Day is Digital, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. Digital inclusion and diversity are critical for a sustainable future. As Dr. Adetola, Angela, Chama Osakwe and Chama Agwebo have shown there's a lot that can be done to harness the power of technology for good. The nuances will shift, but one thing is clear. The future of technology and innovation is in good hands with these inspiring women and many like them all over the world. Oh, keep shattering those glass ceilings. Well done. Let's hear from you tutors at Just Nigeria TV on this story.